Buck is coming from a different route this morning. I called him and I kept looking down the hill and then out of nowhere I see him coming through that way. You ready? Come on, big boy. You chewing? You were forging? You were forging? Hi, Buck. Good morning. You ready? That's what I have. Yeah, your bucket's already full. Both buckets are full. I put water, I put corn. I put everything in your buckets. Let's see if you want peanuts this morning. Do you want peanuts first or do you want the other things? Alright, so this morning he wants peanuts first. He usually lets you know what he wants first. If it's the A or the peanuts. This morning he wants peanuts. Good morning, my big boy. You look good. Do you smell the apples? You smell the apples? Yeah. All right, we'll put these peanuts in your corn. Yeah, he's been loving the apples recently. I know, that's what you wanted. I know. That's what you wanted, the apples. I didn't even want to mention the apples while he was eating the peanuts, but he started smelling, picking up the smell of the scent of them. He started smelling the apples. You're like, uh-uh, I want the apples first. Oh, I got a little runny nose because my husband was sick the past couple days. And it's hard for us too to stay away from each other because you know my house is my home is not like so big big for us to stay away from each other and now i got a runny nose but all i have is a runny nose nothing else but i'm bundled right big boy daddy got me sick daddy got me sick I was trying to call Thumper before Buck came to the spot this morning to see if Thumper would come and show up, but he didn't. Cause I know Thumper lives somewhere around over there. It's nice this morning. It's not like freezing outside. It's cold, but it's not freezing. And there's no wind, thank God. Cause usually the wind will make it feel even more cold when it's cold out. Are you okay? And you dropped the apple over here. Okay. Hey, big boy, you so hungry? He is so hungry this morning. I feel like in the mornings, Buck is like the most hungry. Like he's so hungry, especially for those apples. I mean, dinner time too, so, cause dinner time he eats all his apples, of course, too. Boy. You got one more apple left. I know, baby, that's a leaf blower down the road, probably. That's what it sounds like. People still blowing leaves. Which I'm shocked because I didn't think there was any more leaves on people's trees. And you're not going to find pe much peanuts there because you didn't eat most of them from your cup. Okay. I'll put them in here. Look up for your peanuts over here.
And you can just eat them in there. That's been a new thing now. He likes his peanuts in the corn bucket. <laughs> Remember, he used to like the apples in the corn bucket. Now he likes his peanuts in the corn bucket. But if you guys notice, Buck lets you know what he wants, how he wants it. <laughs> like how he wants his food, he lets you know. It gives me a little idea of how he wants it, the food. Usually he wants the apples in the corn bucket, but in the morning now, well, every day he's been eating the apples. The only time I notice he wants his apples in a corn bucket, if there's people outside or like there's too much noise. Like this morning is a little noise, but not that much noise. It's not noisy, noisy where it's like, oh my God. You know, your peanuts already? No way. You still got more peanuts in there, Buck. Baby. Well, he was foraging before he got here, so he could be a little full from the foraging. It's just with the apples, he would never deny the apples. Everything else, he would if he's full. You look good, Buck. You look good. Your fur looks nice and shiny and soft. And I know he's clean because the other day I was petting him and he felt clean. My hands didn't get no dirt on me. So probably when it rained last week, a couple of days, what was it, like four or five days ago, it rained. It must have cleaned his fur because his fur is nice and clean. I don't feel dirt on him. All right, you're a clean boy. You're a clean boy. You got no dirt on you. You got no buggies on you. Especially no ticks, thank God. I think the ticks are finally gone. Because the last time I seen a tick on him, I think it was like September. Yeah, the ending of September was the last time, like almost October, I think. And that's it. I haven't seen ticks on him since then. Where are you corn, baby? It's okay. It's okay, Buck. You want me to sit down on my spot? I'll sit down here. Because I know sometimes if I'm not sitting down here. Uh, I'm right here. I'm right here, big boy. I didn't leave you. I didn't leave you yet. Because I gotta go grocery shopping now when I'm done with him. I fed my dog already this morning. So I fed Ginger, my dog. Now I'm eating him, hanging out with him for a few minutes. Then after him, I gotta go grocery shopping and come home, put everything away. And there goes my day, starts my day. My day starts. After I'm done feeding Buck on Saturdays is when my day starts. My husband's like, don't stay outside too long so we could get our day started. I was like, I know. It just sucks because now <laughs> he, hangs, he actually hangs out with me longer. <laughs> Not that it sucks, like I love it. But it's gonna suck for my husband because he's gonna <laughs> have to wait like, you know, a few more minutes before I go inside. No, maybe I jinxed it, he's leaving. You leaving me already? Really? Yeah, he must be full from forging. He must be full from forging. Because he was forging before he walked here. He was chewing, like his mouth, he was chewing on stuff. So he could be full from the forging. You're full already, Buck? You didn't eat all your peanuts in your bucket, but we know that. The squirrels will be in there. They'll be eating it, so that's fine. Because I know the squirrels go in the corn bucket, too. Like, when I'm not around. The squirrels, the birds, they all, like, go in the bucket in the daytime. In the daytime, the squirrels and the birds go in the bucket. And at night, the raccoons go in the bucket. Like, when I'm not around. When I'm around, for some reason, nobody goes in the buckets. Just the doves. I notice, like, in the evenings, the doves, they'll fly inside the buckets, like, while I'm, here, I'm sitting here. But I do bread. Let's see. He always has it with that spot right there. I wonder if it's because... Oh, he's about to use the bathroom. Really? Yeah, he's about to use the bathroom. They're smart, but because they pick up their tails all the way up. That's probably why their tails stay so white. Because, like, their poopies it don't touch the tail. Because their tails are all the way up. Yeah, yesterday, guys, I had to end up the dinner video early. Is he about to jump over? Because that's where he goes when he jumps over, like right there in that spot. 
had to end the dinner video a little early because I forgot the bread and I want to throw the bread for like, you know, the other little animals and stuff. By the time I got outside and I started throwing the bread, literally while I was out here, it already started getting dark. I was like, oh my God. And he ended up leaving like a few minutes after I made the video. There's a squirrel coming. <laughs> that squirrel starts to come close. They're like, hmm, I wonder what we're gonna find. And Buck is just sitting there. I think chewing on leaves or whatever. It's funny because he keeps looking at me to see if I'm still here. <laughs> There's a branch hanging from a tree. And it's like touching his head and he's like wiggling his head back side to side. He's probably like, why is this thing on me? Oh, that pole was right there. I guess he's finding good goodies for himself in there. In those leaves. Now he's coming back. Wow. Now he's looking that tree. That tree that's there. He's looking at it. Usually that's another way of bucks or deers when they lick stuff like trees and brand, like stuff from, you know, the forest and the woods. That's like them saying like, this is mine. That's like them claiming their property. <laughs> so he claims everything in here. You right, big boy? Yeah, my big boy. I guess he's not leaving us. I thought he was. That used to be the spot where he always used to lay down. Right now where he's like walking by. I know Buck that saw in. They're sawing like a couple of doors away. It's annoying. Now he's eating the rest of his peanuts probably and corn. I guess he came back. I thought he was leaving, but he wasn't leaving us. He came back. His glands look like they're still dark, but they don't look so dark as they did like a couple of weeks ago, so. The rut must bite, must be slowly like going, and I notice his neck is not like so swollen as it was. So the rut is definitely like he's probably he's definitely still in rut because his glands are so dark. But I have a feeling now he's he's definitely he calmed down a lot since he's been hanging around that doe. Now he calmed down like a lot, a lot. But now I know that that doe definitely left because you see how he doesn't leave so right away. Now he might be leaving us. When he walks that way is when he starts his journey. <laughs> his daily journey, I call it. When he goes that route. All right, guys. I know he's definitely leaving me now. Because eventually he's going to walk down the hill from where he is. See? I know him already. I know all the moves he's going to do before he makes them. I'm telling you guys, I know him already. I know I'm so good. See? I knew he was going to leave me. <laughs> But it's okay. He hung out with me for like 15 minutes, so that's long enough, you know? It's better than five minutes. I remember he used to hang out with me only five minutes. He used to eat and leave. Now he doesn't eat and leave so quick anymore, which is nice. All right. I'm going to get going because I got to go grocery shopping now. And my husband's going to kick my butt. No, he's not technically going to kick my butt, but you know what I mean. I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> like, he told me to try to hurry it up. So since Buck left... 
I'm gonna clean up this mess over here that I got all these buckets and I got to throw the bag out because I threw bread. I will be back later this evening for Buck's dinner video. I hope everybody has a great day. Today by us is beautiful out. It's not so windy. It's not really windy at all, actually. The weather is really nice. I can't complain. I can't complain. It's a little cold outside, you know, but it's winter. It is what it is, right? But I will be back later this evening when I get back grocery shopping. I want to look through the trail cam to see if I see any footage of any other deers besides Buck walking by the trail cam. Because I haven't checked it now for like two days. So I want to check it. And I will be back later this evening. Everyone have a great day. And ciao for now.